What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Drigo. The video you're about to watch is about an hour and 40 minute coaching call with our buddy Roman out in California. He's been a videographer for a very long time, but he's having issues showing his value and increasing his rates with his clients. And this is pretty much me trying to help him get past that. So far, he has been doing way better after a call. Let's just get right into it. All right, man, what's good? Mm -hmm. tell, tell me a little bit about where you're at, what you got going on, and see okay. how it's yeah. All right, so where I'm at now is I have I have three clients right now. Um, well, let me tell you more about what I do. I do videography uh, and marketing. Um, I try to implement the, both of them together, you know, to help businesses out. Um, I don't have any trouble shooting video. I don't have any trouble marketing. I know how to do ads. I know how to do SEO. I know that YouTube SEO stuff that you did, I don't know how to do that. That was really impressive. Right. I don't know how to do that. Um, I don't do websites. So right now it's just Facebook ads and shooting great video content. How good are your um, Facebook ads? I'm pretty good. I would say like six out of ten. I'm not I'm not right. super good, but I could for sure get some clicks. Um like recently I ran a campaign for a client for 60 bucks and I got him like 136 clicks on some cabinets. He does like painting and stuff. Okay. And he got, I think, I believe he got two jobs out of that. So nice. 60 bucks. Yeah. What are you charging for that? To be honest, I don't think I even charge him for that at all. all and right. that, go ahead. No, please. Okay. And that's another issue I have. Like I, um, when it comes to charging and stuff, I don't know. I don't know which services I like offer yet. I, like, I don't have like a structure of what I offer. Um, and I've never really talked about this with anyone. I don't know who to talk to about this. Um, yeah, usually clients ask what I do. I say, hey, yeah, I shoot videos. And then I just freeze up like, shit, like what else? My bad, I'm gonna cuss, but what else do I do, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and, and I have all this skill, all this knowledge, and I just cannot like um, put it, like I just can't bring it out to the customer. Like I freeze up, I start to think like, what am I doing? Like. I start to I start to think like I'm what my the services I offer are useless. That's what I start to think. You know what I mean? Do you think I don't know why. Useless? What's up? Do you think they're useless? No, of course not. But a part of me thinks it is. But like the results speak for themselves. It's all working. It's all put together. It's just like I I feel like a lot of older clients don't believe in that stuff, and they like dismiss me like that. And then I believe it too, you know what I mean? Like, oh, maybe I am useless, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, like, I've been doing a lot of coaching with Chris Stowe myself, and I'll tell you one of the biggest things he tells us is mindset. Like, you got to believe in yourself. And that was a big thing for me too, because, you know, when I started out, and I don't know how much you know about me, how, how you found me and all of that, but there's another video that I did a while back that with my sister that when I first got started four years ago, mm. we were literally emailing a hundred people a day. Yeah. I remember my sister finally got like one reply out of a hundred and she started crying and she was like, Oh my God, it's not going to work. She's like, they said, no. I was like, that's great. I was like, somebody said, no, it's better than no <laughs> reply. Right. <laughs> and you know, she's like, what are we, is this even going to work? I was like, and I was like, Kika, do you believe her name is Camilla color Kika? I was like, do you believe that what we're doing is beneficial to a business? Do you feel like it make an impact? And she, she's like, yeah, then I'm like, that's all that matters. She's like, not everyone is going to believe in what we do. And those are not the customers that we want to work with. Um, working with older customers, it, it is a little bit harder, but I think the problem is, is that you're selling video. And that's something else I had to change is that I don't sell video. I sell you results. I just happen to do it through video, right? So what we do here at Tasca Studios, we help you run video marketing campaigns. Okay. You know what I mean? It's it's really, because it comes down to a business owner. If you tell a business owner they need video, they're going to tell you no. You ask them, do you need more clients or jobs? They're going to tell you yes, right? Okay. Yeah, so yeah. Their mindset is around that video because, you know, the problem is, a lot of them might have tried video in the past, but there was no purpose with the video. So they made a video, the video didn't work. And, you know, that's their mindset is that they, they're basing their whole experience, their whole knowledge on one thing that the video didn't work. So you got to change the conversation a little bit. Um, okay. 
how the best way for me to help you with this is like you know it depends how freely and you want to talk about stuff but how much you're charging for video dude I, it's funny because i didn't know what to charge right hold on they keep blowing up my other phone i don't know what to charge so then i came up with a number like per hour i came up with the hour 25 an hour and then like right. that same day i watched that video where you didn't know how to charge and you charge 25 an hour too and i was like okay like at least like I'm getting somewhere. So I charge 25 an hour. Um, usually go there, um, shoot for like two hours and it takes me like an hour to edit. So it's like 75 bucks dude, for a video. Yeah. Super cheap, dude. And I, and you see my work, like it's like good stuff. Like I just, I don't, I, the clients that I, I, I feel like I work with now don't have, the pockets aren't that deep. You know what I mean? And right. I don't know how to reach out. The problem is you're charging too little, they don't see the value in it. Oh, okay. So you, you think the me charging low like makes them think it's not worth it? Really? Dude, I have my contracts on sale for 50% off. So, so they're like $13. I didn't sell one. One contract, 50% off, selling my contracts online. As soon as they took the sale off, I literally sold 10 contracts. Perception is within the value, right? So for them, 25 bucks an hour for video sounds too good to be true. I would raise your rates for at least $100 an hour. Okay. I mean, eventually I'd like to get a little bit higher than that, but at least a hundred bucks an hour, $50 an hour to edit. The reason for me, I started at 25 an hour was because that's mm -hmm. how much I was making at my catering job. I had no prior and this is also me at $25 an hour it was like me with like one camera and like I had like a freaking like road go mic like I was very basic gear like didn't have like lights like yeah the little one, one of those I was literally <laughs> like my gear set up right so that yeah. was what that was equivalent to um wow. so I mean I've seen some of your work there's definitely some feedback in areas that I would improve a certain things but yeah. I think a, a big obstacle is if I, if you came at me like me as an agency I would hire you at 25 bucks an hour to come out for me like for a full day shoot and I'll probably pay you more than that like right, right now for people to come and shoot for me they'll get paid depending like if you're a PA you're getting mm -hmm. 125 for the day or between 125 to 150 in a day if you're doing like, you know, grip or if you're a DP, I'll pay 350 for the day. Okay. Uh, but I'm also charging a client, you know, two to $3,000 for a video. So like, that's where, where that's at. I think okay. you telling a client you charge $25 an hour. Like, I think it's too little. That's how I feel too, man. And um, I have like three clients where it's like one client, he books me like minimum, like 10 hours a week. And the other ones are like on and off. Um, I mean, I pay my bills and everything because I kept my cost of living like super low, like almost 800 a month. Perfect. So, um, and then, and then, yeah, I'll charge them 25 an hour. So I'm barely like making like a thousand a week, barely. You know what I mean? That's bad. Yeah. I mean, just think about that's one client, you charge, you go from charging a hundred dollars an hour. That's from your one client, you're making a thousand dollars, right? Like exactly. that, so it, like that would change a lot of things for you, because it's also okay. gonna allow you to save money and invest in different things like that. Um, okay. You want me to ask you something else real quick, or give you some, some another thing you can? Yeah. What else you got? Um, then I have a bit of an issue getting um, higher paying clients. Um, I I made a what's called a uh, what's the list the. Uh, the lead, I made a whole leads list of 100 clients. I have their name, email, number, everything. Um, now, the next step, and I know they need me. I know they need me, and I know they would like me. It's just having that conversation with them and how to, like, begin with it. Like, hello, I'm Roman. Um, I'm with Huntington Films and Marketing. Call to see if I can get in touch with yada, yada. Hey, Tony, do you have 30 seconds? Like, do I say something like that? You know, build rapport with them first and then introduce my services or what, what would some you suggest are you doing or right now are you just doing cold e or cold phone outreach Is that yeah i'm only doing cold phone outreach and i plan on doing uh emails too right now i'd start i would go backwards i'll start with email outreach i'll first I'll try to connect with them on linkedin 
and then I'll okay. do email outreach and then I'll do follow up phone calls. So like that when you're calling them, because right now you're trying to get through the gatekeeper, you're like, hey, my name's Jerome. Can yeah. they be like, no, he's not available, right? And yeah. the thing I always tell people is when you call the business owner, like you got to call like you know them. So like, imagine that, that you're calling me, you're like, yo, what's up? Is Drigo there? And who's this? Oh, it's Roman. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, yeah. hello, my name is Roman. And can I talk to them? They'll be like, no, what is this about, right? There's the they already sense that you don't know who you're talking to. But if you call... Yeah. Ready to be like, yo, is Drigo there? It's Roman. You let him know it's Roman. And they're like, what is it about? It's about the email I sent last week. You know, you're not oh, okay. lying, right? You know what I mean? Exactly. I see what but you mean. It's like, oh, it's, I'm following up with the email I sent last week. So now yeah. they got they got them thinking. Um, are you using any email tracking software? I was planning on using uh, MailChimp. Okay, That's... so MailChimp is more of like, you do like email blasts and stuff like that. I don't recommend you get down that path just yet. I think okay. it's going to work. You need to find, there's one that's going to buy, I don't know what it's called, but email, mm -hmm. just look up email tracker. I, I saw one that I was like 70 bucks for the year. Um, okay. I think what is email? Does Google offer now? Who are you using for email? I use Gmail, man. That's all I got. Perfect. So I think I just found one on here. I think it's like email track. I think it was literally called the email tracker. You can add it to your to your Chrome. You just need to find out who's opening your emails and when. So, okay. um, and then another tool that you need to get is either called, I'll give you a second, right? And then what's the importance of, of um, knowing who opens it, who doesn't? Well, so you're emailing them, you know if your emails are get are going through or not, right? So if you're just sending out okay. a bunch of emails, no one's responding, you don't know if the emails are being opened, if they're opening them and then they're not reading it. But if somebody opens it, you already have an idea, like, okay, this person at least read my email. But now let's say you, you email them and the email tracker is showing you that they opened the email three times this morning. There's okay. And you know, there's a reason behind that. Why are they opening it three times? So for me, when I get a notification that a client opened my email two or three times, it'd be like, yo, Roman, what's going on, man? Hey, how's it going, Drigo? Uh, I was actually just looking at an email. Well, what a coincidence. Anything that I could uh, answer for you? He's got a question about the proposal, whatever it might be. You want to know, you know, are they opening the email? And this goes for everything else, right? Because the email tracker works when you send out the video for reviews. The email tracker works when you send out uh, notifications for payment getting yourself that peace of mind of like, hey, are they getting this or not? Like eliminating that thought from your brain is going to make your life a lot easier versus, because I okay. struggled through that. I'd be like, damn, did he get my email? Like, do I got to resend this again? Like what, like, what the fuck is happening? So you want to start eliminating those things, um, you know, out of your mind. You want to you wanna have your mind open and clear to absorb new stuff. If you're worrying about these other things, you know what I mean? You're, you're just wait, you're occupying room. And you're oh, it, you don't need it shows you the individual that opens it like each individual nice okay that's yeah. yes that that's cool i didn't know that i thought it was just gives you numbers like, I no, really like for me I'm, right now i'm using uh i'm using hubspot and <laughs> it would tell me like if they open it'll be like one time uh they clicked it on one time they clicked on the things two times did they click on it from a computer did they click on it from a cell phone Oh, wow. um you know how many times they opened it what time they opened it at so it gives you a lot cool. of information right it's just like what are you going to cool. do with that information that they're giving you okay um, now um and on the email a uh, little campaign i'm guessing you include some of your work or a link to your work right or um, is, what do you yeah. do usually so if i was doing a cold outreach email and i think i put out this script somewhere else let me pull it up real quick okay Dashboard menu marketing sales. So maybe it's email. Honestly, I haven't used one of these in a while. They've been kind of busy with just uh, our current clients that I have not used this sequence here, but I'll tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. So be like, hey, hey, Roman came across your reviews on Google, your clients have some really great things to say about you. And then like, I'll insert a comment. I love how they talked about how proficient you were on delivering the project on time. 
whatever some shit that you come up with mm -hmm. um you know tasca studios helps other business owners showcase so i'm doing this one's for a dentist so i'm just going to read it out loud so i'm not trying to like think on the spot but goes, tasca studios helps dentists showcase their practice with dental practice videos using youtube and facebook we had some great results for clients like so on and so on and others in the area these videos are have been cost effective and time efficient for our clients allowing them to make a great first impression on patients searching the web we will find out more about your marketing goals let me know if you have time to chat this week so all nice. i'm trying to do is open the the conversation with them I'm like i'm not trying to sell them yet i'm just like hey this is who I am. Another great one that I uh, came from Marty Newmeyer. If you don't know who Marty Newmeyer is, definitely recommend you guys check him out. He's uh, one of the guys that helped uh, Steve Jobs brand Apple. Um, so he had one that he did with a called Chris. And it was like, it'd be like, hey, you don't know me. I'm Rodrigo. Uh, I know that you're running your dental practice video or your dental practice. I know at one point you're gonna need video. If you ever have any questions, I'd love to be your to-go guy, your, your go-to guy. Okay. You know I, mean? I just wanna open yeah. a dialogue. I'm not here to sell you today. I just wanna let you know that I exist. And yeah. uh, you know, if you ever have questions about video, hit me up, like I'm here for you. I'm not trying to sell, um, I'm just trying to build their reputation. How does, um, you ever done any like in-person, like try to like going to an actual, <laughs> A brick and mortar and like introduce yourself in that manner yes but that's only when i had a relationship with the place like if i go like to a coffee shop all the time or my barber you know what i mean like you already have that reputation with them they know you then i'll make i'll go through i'll go to the door but for you to try to scale that like for you to spend that time driving around like how long is it going to take you to drive here to there where you can put together a couple of emails and send them out to somebody yeah, I mean, it's yeah, not, yeah, it's true. not scalable. Another thing, when you are doing these cold emails or outreach to clients, something else that you want to do is called like warming up your inbox. And what you want to do is send out a couple of emails to people that you know first. Okay. Get them to reply to you, even if it's something stupid, like because you don't want Google to think that you're out spamming people. So if you're going to go out and you got to email 100 people, Google's going to be like, what the fuck? This guy never, this guy sends out usually five emails a day today he sent a hundred, you're going to get flagged. So normally I'll do, I'll email five people, I'll email my sister, I'll, I'll email my, my boy and like, I'll just get an email thread going back and forth. And then I'll start doing these emails. Okay. Um, something else that you can do that I just, I haven't done this personally, but somebody I had a coaching call with last week that they did is that they signed up for LinkedIn business manager or LinkedIn, whatever the $50 a month, thing that LinkedIn offers, he started mm -hmm. connecting with marketing directors on LinkedIn. And then he'll do a video for them on like going over their website. So he'll, he'll do something like, um, okay, let's do this quick exercise. New window. Um, I don't know how to share screen. Let me do. Are right, you see my screen? Yeah. All right, cool. So let's do. Who's your ideal client? Tell me somebody in Huntington. Like someone I work with? Or someone that you like to work with, or like give me a business in your area that you want to work with. But um, I believe it's Cold Tile. Let me see. Cold Tile. They already have their own damn marketing people. Let me look it up real quick because I just want you to check this stuff out. Hotel Huntington Beach. No, nah, I'm not in um, Huntington. I just right. came up with that name. I should probably change that. One sec. What area? Are you in? What's up? What area are you in? I am in the Sun Six O. I'm in SoCal, but like more more east in the Inland Empire. Um, I'm like an hour away from Los Angeles, basically. All right, so what's the town that you're in? The town of Victorville. Victorville. 
All right, so oh, I, looked up, I did Plumber Victorville, right? So right now, if you're looking at my screen, there's three people, two people running ads, right? These are good right here. These people right here should at the top. Oh, these are all sponsors. So right now there's five people right here. They're already mm -hmm. spending, well, that's just South Florida. I don't know why that showed up there. They're doing bad in advertisement, guys. Okay, so like this one here, same, same day plumbing. Mr. Rooter plumbing. Okay, so I already have a video. So this one wouldn't be my first choice because they already got a video. So I probably wouldn't contact them. But the good thing is their competitors, if they don't have video, that's a talking point that mm -hmm. I would want to bring up. So this one is, wow, this is a very elaborate um, name. 24-7 website. Oh, damn, I thought it wasn't going to load. So this website sucks, first of all. Sorry, if you are donor 24-7 plumbing, like you need to hire somebody. Super old video already. 24-7 has the knowledge. Oh, hell no. What yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, honestly, you know, in this situation, I will try to find out. Another great way for you to find out, like the one thing I want you guys watching this video right now is not send an email to somebody saying, hello, team, hello there. Go find the name of the person that you're trying to talk to. The information is there. Do not send out a, one of those freaking like cold emails that it's directed at no one. So if you don't know who the person is, the best way to usually do this is if you can't find it on the website under the about person is go to their reviews. Because normally Danny's top notch Danny. So here you go. Literally the name of the guy that runs this company, his name is Danny. Yeah, so, if was, so if I was going to email 24 seven plumbing, I'd be like, Hey, Danny came across your guys's great reviews on uh, Google. I see you guys are ranking number one. Uh, I did notice that your competitor wrote or whatever plumbers <laughs> is doing a lot of marketing and uh, they're, they're doing a lot of video marketing. I knew, I know you've done a video in the past. I want to be interested if you'd be, you know, consider maybe redoing a new video or something along those lines, right? Open the, the line of conversation with them. Okay. That's, that's pretty genius. Okay. So um, like you, you want to go something along those lines? Cause dude, like the fear of FOMO of senior competitors doing something else. I mean, like, I mean, their website's pretty fucking bad. So <laughs> um, this one has 98, you know, reviews. So like, I'll be looking see and oh, like this right here i'll literally find out who this person is and sometimes mm. these people are like there's a lot of stuff that happens on the internet when you start learning more about like um marketing i think a lot of people focus on the video production i think i've been yeah. able to succeed because i learn about seo i learn about marketing so sometimes the problem that happens is that there's there are websites that they're literally just lead funnels like this guy probably could have made a website for discount plumbing and he sells leads off to other plumbers right so sometimes that's the reason why so mm. for me personally if i was really trying to like go after clients i came here and couldn't find this guy i would probably then come back up here i would try to find them so copy What's the California? What is it, Victorville? Yeah, Victorville. Victorville. Is this the same guy? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. back. So to two two eight zero zero six zero six. So like I'll literally hit him up emails right here you who gil oscar i'm guessing that's the name of the owner and you just be like yo gil came across your website i came across your reviews on google i noticed however when i clicked over to your website that there are some issues you could be losing a lot of clients i just want to bring this up to your attention okay okay i see um and uh, another issue that I would have, you pretty much answered all my questions, by the way, with the, with the clients and everything. I, I think I have more than enough on what to do now. Um, but I think my next step would be pricing. And uh, I know you went over it a little bit, but maybe you can dive into it a little bit more. Um, so let's say 
uh, there's a construction company with a Instagram. They have a post like once every two months. Um, and, but I see the, uh, the potential that they have now, how do I price that? Like, okay, look, bro, I'm going to shoot you one video a week and the, the difference, yada, yada, we could run some ads here, get you some more clients. Like, yeah, I don't even know where to go with that. You know what I mean? So if they're posting something once every two months or whatever, a month, they're probably not your ideal client, right? You're going to, you're dealing, you're, mm -hmm. you're paddling up the stream with one paddle, whatever the scene is. Okay. You want to look for the, like, we, normally what I do when I'm looking for these clients, I'm looking my, like the person that does our, um, I can't verify, I forgot the, the word for it, but a person that I have do a prospecting for us, her things awesome. are to look for are, is there, do they have a new website or is the website outdated? Are they active on Facebook and Instagram? Are they running any paid advertisement? And another great way, um, do you, another great way to find out if they're running um, advertisement on Facebook is you go to Facebook Ads Library. So let me do this again. Share screen. I've never heard of that. So right here. So Facebook. as librarian and then also because it's like the Huntington Beach stuff it's um, I don't know how new your business is but if you're not in Huntington Beach well, do you service Huntington Beach area oh I've never I don't think I've ever been over there more than twice I'll change your name like you're you're literally gonna be like screen yourself in the long term of things yeah and I, I saw that you talked about that too um but you said to niche down and I haven't picked a niche yet. That's the problem. I think once I find it, that's when I plan on niching down. Well, okay. here's the thing. I don't want your name to be too niche because at point oh, okay. in your business, you're gonna pivot. So if okay. you if yeah, you make yeah. a name that's too, you know, and I don't know how far is Huntington Beach from you. It's probably like an hour, man. Hour and a half, okay, cool. hours. I mean, it's always good for you to be in markets that are, that are going to pay you more. And I know Huntington Beach is a pretty, like, I guess, what I know, like a, a, a wealthy area, unless I'm mm -hmm. mistaken. But yeah, it, it, it doesn't hurt, right? So, like, let's say, what's the name of a business in your area? Um, put a illustrious auto spa. I've done a lot of work with that. I don't know how to spell that. I L L U S T R I. Oh, us illustrious auto spa yeah yeah like, yeah, like google let me see oh no uh, take away the a is it i yeah it's just an i yeah there you go i l l that should be it yeah spaced out um, should be that one the second one, first one, first one. yep for now they're not writing any ads okay Oh, I don't. Oh, people running ads in our area. Um, I can't think of any. No, it doesn't. I was just showing you for an example. So that's like, crazy. I so didn't even know. like, let's do. You know who Jacob Owens, right? Is I I don't. You know who Jacob Owens is? Oh man, I don't know. From Buff Nerds. From Puff Nerds. Buff Nerds. Uh, Buff Nerds sound familiar. Yeah. So like right now he's a guy. Like this is where I want to be in like five years. What Jacob Owens is doing is where I want to be at. So like right now for like a lot of the stuff I do with video production and like learning how to run my ads and stuff, I'm okay. looking at him to see what he's doing for advertisement for ideas of what I could be doing for advertisement to target other people that are inside of that. Uh, they're looking to buy contracts and learn and stuff like that. So like this, what's another company I worked with is uh, PS Flooring. So right now I see the ads that they're running, right? And it started running February 1st, February 5th. So I'll start looking at other businesses that, you know, you can go to Google, look up, you know, flooring companies. Let's see it. And that's that's what I have in my list, like foreign companies mainly. Yeah, and that's something I'm moving towards as well. Is um, I, I love this space with construction because they're 
uh, lifetime value for clients is, is huge. Like somebody gets their flooring done, it's like 800 to $2,000 for them to do a room or a couple of rooms, right? So you do one video for two grand, that makes sense for them. And I always tell people yeah. like, when you learn how to do video for people that do coffee, like coffee shops is great, but for you to sell a $2,000 video to a coffee uh, company or like a coffee shop, it's really hard because that return on investment for them is, is long. So right now, Florida, yeah, they have, to, they have to sell like a thousand cups of coffee exactly. versus one flooring job. You know what I mean? Florida flooring is that what it's called? Florida flooring. So they're running ads, right? And I'd be like, yo, and like this would be a company that would be like, hey, see what you guys are doing. Have you guys considered doing uh, implementing video ads? on those yeah. ads? Exactly. Facebook video ads. Um, so let's look at their website. Do they have video for the flooring website? Okay. And usually for this, the first thing I'll look for is I'll scroll down. So look at that. Two rooms, a thousand dollars. You know what I mean? Like this makes sense for them. Um I always come down, I'll do this, right? Face I go either go to Facebook or YouTube, find out they got videos. So right now that link doesn't work. That's not good for Google. I mean, yeah, Google doesn't like that. So I'll check that. So then I'll be like, hey, I, I clicked on a couple of your links. They didn't work. Just wanted to bring that to your attention. Um, you know, I want to build some type of rapport with mm -hmm. that customer. Let me go to Instagram. Especially with like that, like you 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 see you see an issue and you you may, you notify them about it because it shows like you know that you care at least a little bit. You know exactly so i'll try to find out who this guy is i'm guessing that's the owner that's why he's the photos here about yeah. us contact us da, 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 da. and i'll be like and i'll be like hey came across your thing like i've done i worked with some other flooring companies got some great results i see you guys are offering a lot of specials um would you be interested in you know talking about how video can help you close more deals you know okay. having a video here in your home site on your home page that talks about you guys and shows your process can really help you guys throughout your sales and marketing. Um, okay. So that's the way I'll probably approach a client like this. And so, you know, the fact that he's already doing Facebook ads and they're pretty recent too, right? Started running two days ago. These are yeah. not, you know, it's not like he was running them like a month ago or some shit like that. So let me see platform impressions by year. Yeah, and those photos look like they just got them off of Google too. It's not really. Yeah. And that's sometimes something that I don't tell people. It's like, even if they have shitty photos or something like that, you never want to mm -hmm. like point those things out to them. I had like a storyboard mm -hmm. artist that like reached out to me and he's like, yo, I could do way better storyboards than what you're doing now. Like, and I was like, yeah, I'm not really worried about the quality. I'm really just trying to sh like show my clients what it's going to be. And he's like, well, I could do that, but you're sacrificing quality. I was like, I never had a problem with quality, right? So in the sense now you're like insulting me on what I chose. I had my problem was the quality. I could tell that yours is better, but you never want to bring up that problem to a client if, if it's not necessary. Okay. Um, okay. Because you never know who else is doing this for them, right? And then the same example I give the guys, like, listen, what about that was my sister that did a storyboard for me and you just told me that the, her quality sucks. Even though her quality sucks, I'm not gonna own up to that because like you're talking shit about somebody in my circle, right? So like you're, you know what I mean? You already lost that client. So I guess to backtrack where we're just at, the way I would price this all depends on how you're approaching a client. And okay. that would be in a sense, I would either offer them be like, hey, I do video marketing campaigns starting at $1,500 a month. Um, and we're offering a special right now that when you sign up for three months, the we'll give you the free video on the production side. Okay. We have okay. to sign up for three months. And then, well, how does it work? We charge you $750 a month to manage your ads. And then I charge you at $750 an ad spend. So the oh, thing that ad spend. Was, yeah. The ad spend goes towards them or towards their business, right? Yeah, the, that you spend seven fifty a month on their business. So for <laughs> you, I would do a case study on the cabinet client that you yeah. deal with. It'd be like, how sixty dollars turn into two thousand dollars, or turn into two leads for this client, right? Okay. Because 
now you're like when you go to another person you're like hey listen oh you can't commit to 750 or 1500 a month how about a thousand dollars and um you know pay fifteen hundred dollars for the video and then we can go on a thousand dollar monthly and it'll be 500 for me to manage and then 500 on ad spend because the biggest thing for you man if you can get a couple clients that you're managing facebook ads for it's going to give you a little bit of breathing room right you get three clients at 1500 you know what i mean or three clients at 500 a month you're making 1500 bucks now and you're not having to go out and do all these different shoots this is going to give you a little bit more breathing room to start raising your prices. Cause like right now you don't have a lot of breathing room to raise your prices because what you're charging is so low. So like now mm -hmm. you need all these, you need all these jobs. Cause if you don't get the jobs, you're, you're not going to meet your ends meet. So if you're able to start bumping up the prices on the people you're working with, get a little bit of that breathing room or as Chris Doe likes to call it, get yourself a little bit of runway. You're going to start be able to, charge more, but then also stop working with the clients that are more demanding. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, you wanna look at your website? I don't have a website. I do have Google My Business website right now. Um, I'm working on the website. I just need to implement the video and some captions and it's good to go. Um, if you wanna see it though. Yeah, are you still seeing my screen or are you seeing the... <laughs> See your screen or you i see your face okay cool where were you just at here um there you go okay uh what's your website uh just put huntington films and marketing just google it it might because i don't know the actual address yeah, i might i'm not even in there man and that's the other thing too. Um, oh, uh, uh, take uh, away the uh, dub, yeah, W. Um, another thing too, you got to consider when you're making yeah. your name for your business or whatever. Is the longer yeah. your name is, the harder the well, the long the longer you make your name is, the more probabilities probabilities that your client's gonna spell it wrong. So something, and then okay. like, and then like Huntington, like me, English summer first language, I'll struggle with that so it's just something that you want to consider yeah a lot of people have trouble spelling that man a lot of people there you go i mean that that's you know the sign right there uh i'll probably just change it to like high desert films or something because that's great seo up here that's great uh, seo um so there's that there's my videos um how I much just, What's up? Uh, how much room do you have with playing with the design and stuff of this? Do Google Google My Business doesn't have like much like there's it's it's not much uh um like you said no design to it. That's why I'm creating um my other website. I just I don't have I don't know how to bring it out without you logging into my Squarespace or whatever. Are you doing Squarespace? Dope. All right, good. Yeah. Let me know. How that goes, and um, I'll make sure I send it to you just on Instagram, just so you can take a quick look. But I'm copying. Is it live yet? I don't think it is. Okay. But Have I'm paid for I'm, it yet. Like where? Yeah, are you in the process? Um, let me see if I can. Maybe I can pull it up. Let me see. Um, I have the design layout is pretty much there. You know who we copied? We copied that uh that one guy you had on here. He's from like. Uh, Ontario or no, no, he's from Canada or something. Um, we're copying his stuff. Okay. Uh, you told him. You told him. Uh, you're like add more call to action buttons onto the website. Yeah. Um, if, if you want, you can add me as a, a viewer. If you go to Squarespace right now, and you can add okay. like uh, the admin part, and you can add me, and I can pull it up here, or you can show your screen. It's up to you. Give me one sec. Yeah, let me sign in. Then. Well, uh, what's your first language? Oh, uh, Portuguese. Your Portuguese, really? Yeah, well, okay. yeah. I would never guess that. Yeah, I learned English here, though. I moved here when I was eleven, and then I learned English from English-speaking teachers versus how most people in Brazil learn from Portuguese teachers that don't speak proper English, and they you end up having the accent and stuff, and my teachers are very hard on me to make sure that uh, I was pronouncing things correctly. Let's get on them.
How long have you been shooting video? Dude, for like 10 years now, man. Um, I, and I feel like full time. Full time, I barely started, like, I want to say like six months ago or something like that, or no, no, like three months ago. Okay. How do I? How do I make you a viewer? Do I just send you? Um, so you can go to admin. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, oh, it's published. So you go to yeah, website, yeah. And then you're gonna go down to settings. Settings, okay. Permissions. One sec, hold on, hold on. find permissions. Well, I guess it's not. So settings. Permissions, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things down. Okay, got it. And then add this email that's up here, rodtosca251 in Gmail. Oh, I just changed the email to you or what? Invite contributor? Or, or viewer, whatever you want. Okay. And then what's the email? Uh, R O D. R O D. T A S C A. T E. Oh, T A T A T A Tasca. T E T A S S K A. C A. C A. My bad. T A at gmail.com. Here, actually, let's just do this. Make it easier for everybody. Um, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do this. Let me do share permissions. Uh, all right, I just made you host. Now you can share your screen. Okay, let's get it. Let me go back. Okay, here it is. Let's flip it. There's that. Okay. Come to films. Uh, helping you become you. That's kind of what I came up with. Okay. Um, and don't worry about that. I still need to change that. And then here's going to be a video and what it is. Uh huh. Video, what it is. Um, and then help you become you, 110. And then the call to action, kind of. And then the budget, uh, little, little list thing. And yeah, that's about it for now. But, All right. Um, um, keeping it basic. Yeah, we're going to have to, I'll recommend doing some, some changes to this. Okay. Um, like the first two beginning layouts is good, but I think the other videos can, can go like that part when you scroll down could just change a little bit. Um, I'll share with you my other um, template that I have that I used to have my old video production website on here. Yeah. But uh, uh, I'll share that with you. Yes, yeah, so I want to look at your work as well. Yeah, yeah, check it out. Okay, I'm going to flip the camera now. Actually, can you change, uh, can you click on the phone and make me host again? Yeah. Where'd I go? More? Uh, yeah, more. And then security? Uh, no, it should just be more and then there's... Meeting settings? No. So are you clicking over my name? Like go to my name, there's mute and there's more and you click on more, I should say make host. Uh, no, it doesn't say it. it says raise hand, security chat, minimize meeting. All right, reclaim post. Okay, I got it. Cool. You got it. Okay, thank God. <laughs> That's freaking out. Um, um you, you could probably just look at my videos on Instagram from now. That's where all my stuff's at. Oh, well, we can check it out there too, though. So, yeah, I'd love to hear your. Are you your, doing. Uh, um, so do anything I'll tell you like do anything I'm not a big fan of the logo stuff on the on the video like that. Okay. Yeah, check that one out. It's a little better. So I look at before and after of the exterior. Are you doing any videos with interviews? No, man. You know what? No, I'm not. I feel like that's cause I saw that you do it. And I noticed like maybe I should start doing that. Um, I've never worked with sound ever. 
All right, so I think that should be the, the, the top of your priority, or at least like the other big thing that you can start doing is getting voiceover and fibers to talk about this stuff that the people are doing. Okay, I've done that before, so I know what okay. you're talking about. Yeah, and they have good voices on there too. Yeah, I use, I use plenty of people on Fiverr for that. Voiceovers. Um, maybe testimonials too, no? Yeah, testimonials good. Testimonials. And then, um, so what would be the purpose of the interviews? Just showing them? Um, yeah, I mean, it puts, it puts more of a name to the face of the uh, of the person, you know what I mean? But also, I think, depending on who you're working with, you could end up charging more money for it as well. Yeah, check that one out. Oh, I thought that was a video. That's just a photo I took from. It's it should sad. be right there. Yeah, it should be. Um, if you look at my Instagram, all my videos are there. Um, you can just play it on the website. Oh, all these videos are kind of old. It's crazy. That was when I first started, like, shooting for businesses. Look at the logo. <laughs> yeah, one thing I'll tell you is, like, start removing, like, taking the logos away from the intros of people. Okay. Um, because for the viewer, honestly, the logo in the beginning, it doesn't really play out a lot of importance to the person, especially if you're watching on social media. Because if I see your video on social media or on the gram, your profile information is already all there, right? So like yeah. you doing this to a viewer doesn't have any benefit for them. And I okay. guess the other thing that I want you to start thinking about is um, every time you're shooting a video for a client, I don't know what your sales process or what your process is with them, but you need to start figuring out what is, like, what is the goal of this video for that client? Because that's where you need to start tailoring what you're doing for them. But like okay. definitely like I'll minimize, start removing, start taking away these logos from the intro. Okay. And then um, usually those logos, the client wants me to throw it on there. Say that again. Um, uh, the logos that I put in for the opening, uh -huh. the clients are the ones that want that. Um, is it a good idea to tell them, hey, uh, we should not put logos on it. Um, just we take away a little bit from the video when we really want to show your work is that like a good thing to tell them it's i would ask them you know i'd be like hey where do you and that's the thing too like most of the time like when i have a conversation with a client i ask them like hey what's the goal of the video where's this video gonna live at and you know if they want their logo in it like hey the best place for you to have your logo unless you're gonna put the logo in the like bottom right corner mm. and it's gonna be small then great, but I think having a logo at the end of the video, I think that's a good place for you to live at. But then if they really want the logo on there, what I'll tell you, and that's something I have done, is I shoot, um, I'll edit or export two versions of the video, right? I'll give the one that my client wants, and then I have the one that I want for my portfolio. Okay, okay. So, and you know, and I think the thing is for you, with the stuff you have here, like I would cut this up into like, what is this, a minute long? I would cut yeah. this, I'll create a 15 second video for tinting and protecting uh, like your car or whatever it is. Yeah. And that's what I'll do. I'll literally, I'll cut this down from a minute and make this a, a good 30 second video of like, you know, window tinting and whatever, if you need your car protected. Another yeah. good place, I always tell people to go to is the iSpot.tv. Here you can like look up every single commercial that's airing right now. So right now let me put up tinting. And kind of use that as a reference. Yeah. And sometimes it doesn't always work, but the other, okay, so then another, like if I can't, because I've been doing a lot more commercial stuff recently. So I go here and I look yeah, at okay. bigger brands and stuff like that. So if that doesn't work, I'll go to YouTube. Actually, another good one you can, I guess you probably do this side to Facebook. Uh, let me try this window. I thought you were a Mexican, Audrey. <laughs> you look like you're a Mexican, man. 
Uh, Cuban. I get Dominican a lot. Swing Dominican. Uh, Sorry. Uh, I just want to say um the value that in your YouTube videos, man, it's like um priceless, bro. Um I think I think you you literally have because sometimes we people like me watch YouTube videos on like some help and they just give us the damn roundabout like like dude like can you just like give me like one thing i can take away from this i feel you man i, I feel yeah. you bro i appreciate you i do, truly do appreciate you saying that but that's the reason i wanted to do this because i went through that when i first got started like me mm. reaching out and trying to learn and i find it i found it so complicated that i was like when i get to the position i can help others like mm. i want to do that um well, you're, so, doing, you're doing it right man that's all that's all i gotta say doing it right Appreciate that. So window tenting promo. Oops. The problem with finding some of these, let me see this one. Hmm. I mean, I'll, I'll brown. Yeah, it's not, I, like, I really like how this looks better in the beginning of this. Okay. Oh wait, I know that. I know who shot that. That's crazy. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think he lives up here. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know who he is. So like, I started looking at a different ideas and stuff. Um, okay. Try to mimic it, copy it. But the thing is, you want to um, put good captioning on it too, right? Because the point is to sell, right? Yeah, I mean that's where that's where I always talk about like um so like the problem I see with this video here is that yeah it's not really telling you the what the process is like everyone knows what the window tinting thing is like, right? But it's more of like okay. it's gonna be what's the experience of working with this person is. I think with they talked about like if there's a voiceover that talks about how they have a computer that cuts out the tent, you know what I mean? Like it goes into more what makes this place unique versus just a bunch of cool video, like a bunch of cool clips. I think there's more value to the end user. For um, that kind of video? For that kind of video. So this to me is more like for a one to two minute video, you're, it's really more about like what, what makes this company different than any other company? Cause like, this video watching this video to this video like mm. there's no fucking difference it's literally like it's literally the same thing like you know what i mean like mm. i could put their logo on this video and you wouldn't you wouldn't know what the difference is okay so you, you kind of want to showcase like you said the differences of it because i have a, a promo shoot to do next week that they hired me for mm -hmm. and they want to like showcase like a bunch of different things i have it written down they want to showcase like the customer experience uh, when you walk in uh, so they do wraps they do signs uh the whole process so by knowing that now you told me it's good to do that now i can actually shoot more of the um uh, um like what makes them stand out? Cause they have laser cutters too. They have, they, cause they do both things. And like what they do is like, so um, uh, crazy, not crazy, but so different from everyone else. So just showcasing all that into one video. Is that a good idea or one thing at a time? I don't know what the video is that they're hiring you for. Right. So like when I, okay. I wouldn't go in there with just start, like the problem is you just go in shooting stuff. So like you going in and just shooting random stuff without a purpose of it. That's why when I like I was telling you like I have a conversation with them to find out like yo what is the purpose of the video uh, that that you're trying to shoot? You know what I mean? They, so they like, said um they told me they just want to get they just want to know they just want people to know they're here and what and what they are. That's basically just it. Oh they nice. Really want. This is by Flix by Ryan. This is the guy I just had a call with. That's, yeah, that's the, I'm copying his website. See, that look, guy. window 10, 100 bucks. I like, you know, if I come in here, I know what it, what it is that they're doing. Like, yeah, it's a little bit different. You know what I mean? They're, they could actually add some voiceover to this to make this better. Okay. But for this, at least, there's something that, you know, 30 minute installation, $100. 
I'm getting information that I need from this place. Okay. And personally, this is 35 seconds. I'd rather have a 20 second video that relays the information, like the whole, like, I need to make a video one minute to make it a minute. There's no point. Like if I can make this into a 15 second video that tells me window tinting, a hundred bucks, any car done in 30 minutes, that's all the person needs. And that's what I'll use. I'll cut this down, make it into a 15 second video and mm. then run a like, yo, what do you think about running this as an ad? I've done this for a couple of different people. And that's how like I would approach that. Mm. So it's it's just making making the message clear. That's what the video is for. Just making it clear. Don't worry about anything else. Just clear cut. Boom. Okay. Because usually I would try to you know showcase everything I could within that minute. Um, I never really had a goal with it. You know, they kind of just call me and I just go and shoot. You know. Yeah. Well, and, and that's the thing too, it's hard for you to do that when you're charging so low, right? Because you're coming in asking 25 bucks an hour and, and you're trying to have a conversation with them about their goals. They're like, what are you talking about? Like, what, what do you care about our goals for what you're you're charging? That's damn, man. 12 years, this new location, a little over a year and a half. Okay. So this is a little bit different, right? This is like, he's actually talking about no, his business. Easily, uh, we're a five-star design, window painting and graphics. I've been in business roughly in Raleigh about 12 years. So what we do here at Five Star Design, we do everything from window tinting to classy dipping to caliper painting to uh, wrapping, anything exterior, beautification. Just So this right here is a profile business video, right? Or a video business card, depending on who you're talking to. And this is the kind of stuff that I charge $3,000 to do. Okay. I'll probably keep this under, like I'll keep it around the two minute. I think four minutes people won't watch. I don't think it needs to be that long, mm -hmm. but that's where, you know, I think that this plays a purpose on, let's see if they have it on their website. Copy. I guess they don't. Portfolio reviews, content, have five it. stars. See, like, I would have that video here. Um, yeah. But that's the thing. Like, a lot of business owners, too, don't have a, a strategy or a plan on where and how they're using video. Like, the fact that they're, they don't even have the YouTube on here with that. Um, hmm. To even link that. And that doesn't even help their website, either. Yeah. So, I mean, there's, you know, I mean, there's a lot of different things, yeah. but this is where I want you to start thinking bigger of like, how is it that I can start helping my clients like get results? Cause that's when you start asking for more money. And how much would something like that cost? Um, not for you technically, but like something for me to start out, how much should I charge for that? Like 350 bucks, maybe? 750. 750 minimum. But here's the thing though, you need to make a video that looks like this. That, it's really hard, you know, it's, yeah. it's, and it's hard for you to come in and you tell them like, let me go back to your website to here. Like what's your best video? Well, if, if you can, you can go to my Instagram on, on the web browser. Man. Let me see. All right, somebody's baby's on here, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just put 102 films on the search bar. Yeah, I'm changing. I think I'm gonna change that that name ASAP. What's your best? Um, name? I'd have, I'd have to say, I really like the cabinet video. Uh, the this video, one, that, that one, yeah. It's probably not my best, but I, 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 it's probably one other one. I'll show you. You know, before after. Mm -hmm. I got the slider on. Just just peer showing them. The difference, how it's quick cuts towards the music and the process. Wait, I'll just, well, I guess I can upload the whole video down. Um, so I've clicked, try the, the, which one is it? The brush. Oh, that's a cabinet one. That's another cabinet one. 
Yeah, I really want you to start thinking about how can you start helping your clients make more money with video. Okay. How can they can use video as a marketing tool versus just shooting a cool looking video. Because for you to just shoot a cool looking video, anyone can shoot a cool looking video, but you need to like, mm -hmm. one of my clients is, where is it? Um, and then that's going to take me to the next level, right? Just learning all that. Jennifer okay. Lynn Interior Design. It's like, I work with a person that does, you know, cabinet stuff. And what we started doing is tours. Mm -hmm. Interior Design and Uber. Originally, there was a huge wall here. Damn, bro, that's like, just great. that's some high quality video. Damn, man. So like this stuff here, she has this on her website, right? So like, where's it, Jennifer? Okay. Um, portfolio. So like for her, she's showcasing this stuff on here. So now you're getting a process into how she's incorporating video. So when somebody's like, hey, you wanna look at my projects? Cool, here's an inside look of how I handled this project and what's my thought behind it, right? So like, I charge her, I think, 1500 bucks for this video. Wow. Um, awesome. You know what I mean? Wow. But, yeah, so, like, there was a goal behind it. I'm Like, for mm -hmm. her to come in and be like, hey, just shoot. Like, for a client to hit me up to, like, hey, can you come and do a $500 video and it's just for you to just shoot something cool? I'm like, listen, you're better off hiring somebody else to do this because I'm going to charge you too much money for what you're going to get out of me. Like, if there's no purpose behind it, then there's, mm -hmm. just, there's no point, right? That's um, it. So we need what, to start playing around with a little bit of audio. What are some purposes? The per, one of one of one purposes, like selling, right? What they're trying to. One purpose would be showcasing what they're trying to sell, right? Um, if you could, like, give me give me a couple. Everybody is different, so. Um, True. So let's see. So, like, you know, for a dentist we worked with. Yeah. What would their purpose be? Well, like, for them, they were, in a, <clears throat> they were in a competitive market and they wanted to be able to send out. So if you're coming in here and you're looking to uh, look for a dentist, you come to their website. Oh, they have to do their website. I didn't even know that. <laughs> YouTube doctors. So they moved the video. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay. Um. You know, the video lands on their website. It kind of goes into. My name is Dr. Austin Maher. I'm the head dentist at Riverbend Family Dentistry. In designing the practice, we really went above and beyond to give it a very comfortable feel. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice when you come in, you see that the front office. So, I mean, personally, because me, I'll probably I'll move the video way higher up here because yeah. honestly, I don't think you need to go all the way down there, but. Um, yeah, you know? uh, I agree. So that's the thing you need to find out. Like, what is it like? You know, and that's the same thing. I'm like, why do you guys need a video? And like, something mm -hmm. I learned from Chris is, you know, I try to kill the engagement three times at least. Like, what does that you know, mean? Like, if you came to me for a video, I'd be like, why do you want to do a video? Why do you want to hire us? Like, I'll like I'll try to like make it seem like we don't want the job okay to, to start getting really some details about uh, about the job from them okay um i have uh, one tire shop that wants to um hire me um for a video so maybe i should same thing you're telling me ask them why they why they want to hire me um is it for engagement is it for sales is it for <laughs> Yeah, so I would ask him be like, hey, I was, I was like, hey, it's awesome you guys want to do videos. What, what's the purpose of the video? Like the things I always ask, like, what's the purpose of the video? Why are you guys shooting a video? Um, another a big one is, uh, and I keep it, I literally have a sticky note to remind myself. It's why this, why now, why me? I'll ask them, like, why this? Why do, why do you need video? Why are you doing video now? Why are you calling me? You know what I mean? I'm okay. not making them qualify themselves to work with me. Okay. Um, so that usually helps. But like I said, you at your price point, it's kind of hard for you to have that conversation with clients when you're, you're charging so little. 
Yeah, and I agree. I agree. Because um, right now I have one client I'm charging like 250 a week for like two videos a week, man. Hey, and, you're um, killing yourself. Yeah. Yeah, and then a bunch of, and I run his Instagram account. I might have to re-talk to him because I'm not making anything, man. And I feel like I could use that time finding someone else. You know what I mean? And I feel like I feel like he's taking advantage of me somehow. Like me. he keeps feels telling like me, me like what's up? So it feels sounds like it to me. If I think he is, because he keeps trying to tell me like you don't need to grow, like you need to work on your craft first and whatnot. And I agree with him, you know, like I do feel like my craft needs to be worked on at the same time. Like, how can I build my craft <laughs> making paying me what you pay me? You know what I mean? Like um where is it? And you, you, do you follow the future now or no? Do I follow the future? The future on YouTube? No, I don't know who that is. You know who Chris Doe is? Nope. Okay. I don't know who you're consuming on the internet, but you need to go follow Chris Doe. The future, no E at the end, is F U T U R right here. Okay. The future. Okay. Start learning. Like there's, there's all a bunch of segments about pricing, creativity, and stuff like that. That's who I learned a lot of stuff I'm teaching you is from Chris, okay. um, just about pricing and talking to the clients, but you need to get a little bit more educated on having these conversations with those clients. Okay. And um, let's say, let's say um, I want to talk to him about raising my price. I've know, I know in the past you talked about how you don't really want to talk about that. You, you don't really want to get into it like that because you're kind of throwing them off by saying, hey, I'm raising my price. Usually yeah. you want to be like, hey, I just hired an editor or something. Like I'm going to be raising my price in two months, something wanna, like that. So you don't want to, so you never want to, you never want to justify your price, right? For you to tell a client like, hey, you know, why do you charge so much? Well, I have a gimbal, I have a Sony. Don't do it. You're going to lose the battle. The first thing is, are you in the position to have the conversation with the client because if the client tells the client tells you they're going to walk away are you going to mm -hmm. be okay with that so that's something that you need to figure out first if you're in a position that okay. you know at 250 you're gonna you know whatever he's paying you if you lose that client or how long how much runway do you have until you find somebody else i literally recently just had to raise a price on a client i was dealing with for four years and i went it was, it was something like what did i tell him i was like I was like, hey, you got a second to talk. He's like, yeah, what's up? I was like, I was like, I was like, hey, uh, I need to talk to you. I'm feeling a little conflicted. As much as I love working with you, I'm in a position that I'm growing and I'm charging you the same rate and I'm losing money with this account. Right now, my current clients, I'm charging them double what I'm charging you. And yeah. I'd love to keep working with you but I'm going to have to raise my price and I understand if that's not possible. Um, you know, I appreciate your business and where we see over the years, but if you do want to move it forward working with me, what I can do is offer you a discount on my new current rate. Okay. I like that. That's it. It's like, it's like, yo, I want to work with you. If you want to jam with me, cool. Let's keep doing this. If not, I'm going to walk away from this. You know what I mean? And, and it's not like you're asking permission. It's like, it's either you come on board or you don't. I'm gonna walk out of this. Okay. But you gotta be in that position to able to, to walk out on that. Yeah, and right now I don't think I can, but give me like a month or two. I'm pretty sure I can renegotiate or at least just tell them like, hey man, like I have three other clients paying me 750 per video. I'm charging you 25, brother. Like either kick the gear in or you know. Or, so I do want to keep working with him because he's he's great. He's a great person. Not only that, um, I know he has money. I don't understand why. It's my fault though. You know, what I mean? I'm the one that priced myself. Yeah. So it's not him. How long have you been working with him? Like three months now, three four months now. I mean, it's still pretty young, a uh, young uh, new relationship. And um, yeah, I don't know like, and also don't know what your your time is. I don't know how much you're, you're allocating to different things. So I definitely think there's help. I think there is room for you to work in certain aspects of your craft. I really would love to see one video from you that it's mm -hmm. like, like that dentist video is a, I, I shot that video like three years ago and it's still one of the videos I show to a lot of clients. So like I want you to produce like 
a very highly produced video to be what your new standard is going to be. Mm -hmm. Right. And there's like, I'll show you, I recently used it, this video for, um, da -da 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 -da. I'm trying to find out a page. I don't have shit on. Um, so let me just, it's like this video I did here. Are accounting's a good uh, business to reach for? Depends. This accounting I work, this accounting, this is actually my personal accountant that I work with. Nice. And I know the kind of clients he works with. Okay. So in, in this term, you know, I think that there's some leeway into, you know, what you, how much you charge them. I'm running ads for him. So it makes sense for me. But this video here, all I did was I had him, I wrote down a script. I had him remember the first line on, I had him deliver, I had him remember the first two lines, then I had him say it on camera. And then the rest of this. The bookkeeping at your business, do you have a pile of taxes or receipts to review? When it comes to the accounting This is all B-roll footage. I didn't shoot, the I didn't make any of this. Right. You have <laughs> dozens of clients reduce your tax liability in the past 10 years. So you kind of just bought all that. We'd love 15 minutes of your time to see if you're a right fit and we'd love to help your business. That's it. 23 seconds, right? He yeah. only had to remember the first part and the and the and the and the closing to deliver on camera. Everything else they threw on um B roll for this, but I charged two grand for this video. Wow. That's like that sort of videos is like a quarter of like my because I put so much freaking effort in the videos I put in. Sometimes I spent up to four hours of shooting. So you and I'm still charging like 25 an hour, but 2000 for that, like, that's what I, that's my goal. Like, that's what I want to do. Like a video like that, uh, where, where my time is allocated correctly. Cause it took me two I, hours to edit this video and, and make, it probably took me longer to find the B roll footage than it did for this, than it was for me to actually to edit and put it together. Yeah, I could tell, I think it was, it wasn't that hard to put together, but what was hard is like you said, it was just getting the experience and planning it. Because that that's that's the part that I need to learn. And then this is the same one that I did for um let me go to YouTube. So the whole thing of like shooting on camera, having them remember the first line and the last line, that cool. really allows you uh, to really streamline the process. But let's go back to Riverbend Film and Dentistry. I did the same thing for this video here. Okay. At Riverbend Family Dentistry, we strive to go above and beyond to ensure the health and safety of you and our team. We are proud to announce our new safety protocol. Along with providing brief health screenings to all patients and staff, we've installed new HEPA filters to keep our air quality as clean as possible. We've also implemented a mobile check-in, installed sneeze guards in the front office, increased staff PPE, and equipped our office with dry shield units, which help to reduce and minimize infection risk. At Riverbend Family Dentistry, we value your trust and we look forward to seeing you soon. Please don't hesitate to call us with any questions or to schedule an appointment. Thank you. Oh, uh, so like I, re I repurposed a couple of shots from our first original shoot, but it literally was the same thing. Like my whole thing yep. right now I want to do is I want to start charging like 1500 bucks to $2,000 for videos like this, that I come in, I shoot the video in less than two hours and you have a video ready in 48 hours. That'd be that'd be you know I mean? amazing. Man. Yeah. I want to make this a very easy process for the business owners because like a lot of business owners don't have four hours of their time running their business to sit down and, and, and shoot a video from you. So now I'm like, yo, we got a system, it's under two hours. We need everything, we got everything that we need to create you a short video that's gonna help move your business forward. And now I got two samples, right? I got this video here and I got the other video. So I could tell somebody like, hey. $2,000, I could shoot your video like this, 1500 bucks, I could shoot you the other one, like whatever one you know hmm. you want to do. Um, That's pretty you, good. You need to shoot, get a couple of videos like this, like two or three. You can maybe repurpose some of the shots that you already have. And I'll reach out to some of the people you already worked with. And, you know, you're like, hey, I'd love to get an interview with you for you to make a video that looks like this. And show them one of my videos. Show them this one or show them the other one. And just show them what you're trying to do and like i'm not going to charge you anything but like this is what i'm looking to get out of it 
all of do you have do you, are you getting reviews from your clients oh me yeah yeah i'm getting reviews from them yeah okay cool so um, you know ask them for review get a referral what is it huntington films awesome 4.9 like this is like this is good man you know what i mean yeah Your photos right owner I would try. I should probably delete some of that. You should probably delete some of this. Like the truck stuff, unless you're going to be shooting, unless you want to shoot car stuff for clients, I'll know. start removing that. Like if you go to my. Yeah. Tusker Studios. All of my stuff is like behind the scenes stuff, gear. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like this is what I want to show the clients. Like, mm. This is what we're doing. Behind the scenes, okay. I like yeah. that. I rarely show like the final product of like what we're doing. It's normally I'm trying to show them, you know, what what it's like, um, just so they can get a better idea of what the production is going into. The and one more question: um, um, when when you mark when you do any marketing for your own stuff. Do you do you do any ads for Facebook, Instagram, Google, or any of that? No, it's all you just reaching out or um prospecting. Right now we are we're doing we did SEO. So I think if you type in like video production West Palm Beach, I don't know if I show up yet. Um let me see. So I'm not there beyond so I'm like number four here. Okay. I'm working on getting back up here, but I'm also ranking in two different towns. So I have video production for here. They also have Pompano Beach. Yeah, so Pompano Beach, I'm number one here. And then I'm number two here. Okay. So, so a lot of my time has been allocated to SEO stuff. Yeah, because when I started, I was broke. I was literally like sleeping on the couch in my mom's house, crashing yeah. air mattress in my friend's house. I yeah. didn't have money. So when I heard about people spending money to run ads, like I can't run ads. So, like, what can I yeah. do? I learned about SEO. And then when yeah. I got my I got my business ranked on Google within six months of starting my company on the first thing. And I was like, holy shit, everything I learned about how to rank my business on Google. I could apply that to any other business I work with. So now when I come in and talk to a potential client, I'm already doing research and finding out what, where they're ranking at, what are they doing for SEO? So when I'm having a conversation with a business owner, it's rarely about video. It's like, yo, I see you guys are doing marketing. What are your tactics? What are you doing? What do you think's been working for you? What do you think I've been working with you? Have you tried video? And they're like, no, I'm like, well, this is why I've used video in my business. This is how I use videos for other businesses and help them rank and get results. I'll love to possibly do this for you. But it's getting educated. Like, I mean, honestly, if you look at my like my history for like what I watch, it's rarely like uh, I've been actually watching a lot of I've been getting more into like stocks and stuff like that. Same, but like yeah. a lot of the stuff I watch is like, you know, building brands and you know learning stuff about stock market and hey, this is my me, videos <laughs> me doing research on you know right now i'm working with the uh, garage door installer so i'm like okay. looking up different uh videos on them but it's rarely i rarely watch videos on on what do you call on how to shoot stuff it's normally the stuff i watch it's about how to grow my business i'm learning how to marketing or like a lot of this stuff is just um this is another video like i was telling you about that i did for somebody the age box we are a computer repair service company we provide excellent support for apple products including macbook imac mac mini or repair yeah. by corporate level support as well as residential those services include keyboard replacements trackpad repair LCD and glass replacement, and logic board repairs and services as well. We are also cross-platform friendly. We'll be happy to help you. We stand behind our work 100%, and your satisfaction is our priority. Please give us a call today. We're looking forward. So it's not a crazy video, right? Yeah. But for a business owner, 
this video has purpose within their marketing. Like all you need to do is have this video on your homepage. And this video is telling your clients exactly what you do, how you can help them, what you offer and how to contact them. This is a video that every business owner needs. Okay. So like I said, versus making something that just looks cool. And then they're like, I'm going to post this on my Instagram. I rather make you a video that's going to help you get work or, you know, help you grow your business, whatever the situation okay. may be. Okay. Yeah, like, look, this is where I spend my time. Google SEO, how to rank higher. I mean, this is where I spend my time learning. Like, there's nothing on here really that's going to tell you, like, how to shoot something cooler because I just don't care to shoot anything that looks cool. I'd rather learn how to make more money and grow my business and get educated yeah. on that stuff. Because it's funny because I was doing a just pure video, nothing, just pure, pure video, wasn't touching anything didn't even know what the hell the word marketing was and for me to because uh, there was some time about a year ago when I, when I was charging like a thousand two thousand a video but um you know the whole coronavirus crap but um um the way I got there was learning SEO literally just SEO and I was mm -hmm. able to just like skyrocket a bit but then I ended up picking up a job and then back down and then back up so now i'm just on the come up but I, I plan on staying here like i do not i cannot work for with someone for a long period of time because i tend to build i tend to not listen like i have like issues like listening like to to um my boss i really have issues like it it, it sucks because i've ruined like friendships i've worked with friends and i've I fucked that over a couple times I worked with friends <laughs> yeah see i was you know i was young i was like 20 i didn't know any better and um like um it's just hard man like and i feel like for me not to ruin any more relationships i feel like a client uh, having a client is more better suited for me because i can talk to them once a month you know what i mean mm -hmm. like this guy that i'm working with the pain was paying me 250 a week i'm already getting tired of it man i'm really like, dude i mean and i tell people it's uh the phone call test right Mm. Your client calls you right now, you're gonna be happy or upset to pick up that phone. Dude, this guy calls me every day, like every day at seven. Yeah, I, I, he he literally failed the the phone call test. Yeah, um, that, that is good. Uh, go, little go shoot another, or you know, get the best footage, get the best clips from whatever client you're working with. Make mm. a dope video that you can show the other person, and you're like, hey, this is how we are. You no. Know, doing a video marketing for this client if you guys are ever interested you know go do that because like dude you can you can make 250 a day working on set for somebody else for you to work 250 a week bro like you're killing yourself <laughs> yeah that's my fault man it's i don't i um it's because like I, i've been living like in at the very means I'm like pretty much for like three years now like mm -hmm. a little bit of that and uh, I just got used to it, man. I, I need to just get out of that damn mindset and understand that I need more money. Like, you get used to it. You get used to living like that, man. Like, you actually enjoy it sometimes, too. It sounds stupid, but it's true. I mean, you know? I, I, I feel you on that. Like, my biggest issue that I, I have with my sister, and she talks about all the time, is, like, I, it sounds stupid. I hate mm -hmm. having money in my bank account. I tell her to, like, take the money out of the account and, like, transfer it some, somewhere else. Because if I look at my bank account and I see money in it, I get comfortable. The times where I get most creative and I feel like most inspired and I have like the hunger and hustle was I, I look at my bank account and I'd be like, I see a thousand bucks. I'm like, yo, fuck this. I gotta get, I gotta get to work. Right. Like I need mm -hmm. discomfort. Like I enjoyed as much as, you know, I wanted to move out of my mom's house. So I was there for two years. I'd enjoy sleeping on the couch or on an air mattress because the discomfort of um, being uncomfortable pushed me to be motivated. So like that's yeah. something that, you know, but you have to being self-aware about that, it's huge. And, um, you know, okay. something else that you should do, bro, is just yeah. talk to a guy and be like, yo, listen, I've been enjoying working with you for this past few months. And I know I gave you this 250 a uh, price, but like, I'm having a really hard time meeting my end. Like, I like meeting my ends and I want to keep this relationship going. What can we do about, the current rate can we move me up to 350 a week like it's really going to help me a lot you know what i mean like if he says three no then like can we at least go to 300 like he had like if he's someone that and that's going to tell you a lot right because if he's telling you no he doesn't want to work with you 
then you know what you need to do. Yeah. Obvious. Yeah, it's obvious. Like, move yeah. on. You know what I mean? So, like, but it's, you know, mm-hmm. and he tells you, I'm like, I right, cool, appreciate that. And then you know you have to be making your moves outside of those hours to get yourself out of that position. But I've been in situations, too. Like, I had a guy that was working with me that he, like, text me saying that he wanted a hundred bucks an hour. I was like, bro, like if I'm charging a client $200 an hour, mm. I can't pay you a hundred bucks an hour. Like as a business owner, this doesn't make sense for me. Like for you to just show up, like I'm bringing all my gear, I'm doing all this stuff. You show up and you want a hundred bucks an hour. Like I'll, I want a hundred bucks an hour for I show up. Like, <laughs> I got to prep the gear. I got to get the client. I'm like liable for everything else. It doesn't make sense. Like for him showing that he didn't want to work with me or make this work show me everything about where his mindset was at. I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I'm not working with you anymore. And that's fine with me. Um, but you know what I mean? You're the one that's going to lose in that relationship. Okay. So what do you think I should do right now? Um, just go, like, uh, I'm guessing deal with the email list first, right? Like you said, or hit him up on, um, uh, damn it, I forgot. LinkedIn first, right? Try to get in touch with him there. Link, well, the LinkedIn process, I'd say don't go to LinkedIn just yet because okay. you got to pay for the sales navigator part of the thing. Well, I didn't know it's that. Like $50 a month or something like that. I would start with just people in your community. Like, I'll literally, who is it that you have sample work from? Who is it? What? That's sample work? Who do you have sample? Like, who do you have example work for? Like, so you have the tinting company, you have like the cabinet stuff. Make a video that you can show another business owner that you're like, hey, would you be interested in making a video like this? So for you, if it's cabinets, I'll look up different cabinet people in your area that you can make a video for. You know what I mean? It, you, you know, the thing is, the thing with that is uh, I live in a small city, right? Kind of-ish. And if once I work with another cabinet worker, that cabinet worker is going to know and they're fighting for the same area. You know what I mean? So I don't really want to do that to them. You know what I mean? I usually tell them I work with only one person in an industry, 30 miles radius. Yeah, if they're paying you enough to do that, that's when you do that. Okay. Cause they're not right now. So not right now. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. So I don't want to break ties either, you know, cause it's a, it's a small native community and people talk bad about each other here all the time. Yeah. So I mean, you're not doing it, but that's the thing. You're not necessarily doing anything bad, right? It's like, <laughs> you eat at different taco spots or you eat at different things. It's like, mm. it, at the end of the day, it's like, and I don't know if it's the same person that you've been working with or whatever, but it's like, if you're not willing to pay me what I need to survive, I need to do what I need to survive. I'm not trying to, you know, break ties with anybody, but like I've worked with other dentists, you know what I mean? It's like, and, and sometimes, you know, these businesses might be too busy that they can't take on a bunch of people. So like, Maybe you could take the cabinet video and show it to a flooring person. Like there's different ways. You don't have okay. to just show the cabinet video to a cabinet person. You can show the cabinet video to a flooring person or in different things like that in that in that realm. And I don't know how okay. small your community is, but like, you know, I had that mindset before, but like when I was working with the dentist that I only work with one dentist, but I'm like, if they're not paying, you know, like if you, you're not paying me enough or you only pay me for one video, why am I going to, put myself into a hole that I can't climb out of. So like, I, there's no benefit for me. You know what I mean? It's like, what's the point of you struggling? So like, there's other person that's possibly not paying you enough so they could they could do better. I don't know. Makes sense. No, no, makes yeah. sense. Or um, I'll have a conversation with them. Be like, hey, listen, I need to get more clients. Um, are you okay if I reach out to other cabinet people? Like, I'm just coming in to you out of respect. But like I'm in a situation that I need to make more money. I know I've worked okay. with you before. I was going to reach out to a couple other people. Is that okay with you? Or is there anyone that I can't work with? That's another one that's a good one. Like, is there anyone that I can't work with? Anyone that's off limits? And they'd be mm-hmm. like, well, John down the street, he's a pretty big competitor of mine. Like, I would, I would appreciate it if you don't work with him. Done. You know what I mean? Yeah. How do you develop that kind of thinking? Like you're so, uh, what's the word? Um, you not nah, you care a lot. No, you don't care, but you're so. What's the word? Uh, um, really give it. You really give it thought into the whole thoughtful? situation. Like, yeah, you're so thoughtful. Like I can't. Like me, I would just ask them. I would just go straight to the point. I would not like 
think about the other aspect or even how they feel. I was just like completely just like, I don't know how you built that, but that's like such a good um, um, skill that you have, man. And I feel like that's, that also helped you a lot, like learning that. Like, I really think that. It's honestly, it's kind of what, what you talked about. Like I've been in situations where I've burned bridges, but it's also like, I've been very lucky that I've got to spend time with this guy, Chris Doe, that I've been telling you about. And he's a very thoughtful person and listening to him having conversations and things like that uh, has helped me um, just grow as a person and just be more mindful about different things. Um, well, but it's, it all comes down to what you're digesting and what you're listening to, right? So it's like, um, you know, you talked about saying that you have a hard time listening to people. I would spend time watching videos and learning how to be a better listener, how to communicate more. It's because like it all comes down to interpersonal skills that you have to develop as a person. And, you know, I'm 34 now. I didn't start shooting video till I was 27 and stuff like that. And I think from 27 to 30, I honestly just like, I, I didn't care about a lot of things. Um, so, but as you get older and you start realizing the importance of, people appreciate people that are real and, and, and that they're thoughtful, right? Um, you trying to get over on someone doesn't benefit anyone. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not in here to get a short, quick win. The same way that like, I just hopped on with you on a two hour call. You know what I mean? Like I'm here to build long-term growth. And this helps me too, because like, I want to be able to coach and teach more people as well. So this gives me uh, a lot of information insight, but also it helps me because it, it gives me content for my channel. But like, I want to yeah. be thoughtful about those things, but it, it just comes down to um, you spending the time to learn about these things, but also just to care. Cause it's always like, how would you want the other person on the other uh, shoe to like handle, or the other side to handle the situation, right? And always being the bigger person is the the biggest thing that I think anybody could do. Because like at the end of the day, I want to know that I'm going to sleep knowing that I did the right thing for anybody. Like I, if if you don't like the decision that I made, that's fine. But I know I did the right thing. I know mm -hmm. I was a bigger person in the situation. I could walk away. So like. If you walked away from the dispute and, you know, you don't like it and you want to talk shit about me, that's cool. I could live with that because at the end of the day, like, I know I did my part. So like the same thing, like, guy that was working with me, uh, you know, I try to have a conversation with him. I try to figure out, like, yo, at first I was like, dude, I can't do 100. Like, like yeah. honestly, the most I could pay you would be 50 an hour. But because I know how good you are, I could do 75 and like, you know, and I'm trying to be upfront with you and trying to have this conversation. And because that's where I want somebody to do for me if I was in that situation. Okay. So I think what's your thing that, uh, let's say Chris, but like Chris was telling us growing up in his house that like, let's say there's one slice of cake left. Mm. If you cut the cake, the other two person got to choose the their slices first and you got it last to make sure that it was fair for everybody right so with one piece of cake one person cuts it the other two person the other two people choose the slices you get it last because you want to be fair with everybody else mm, so I, I think that's the best thing you can kind of approach okay okay man well i won't take up any more of your time uh, oh good man but uh man like you've helped me a lot i think you cleared my head a lot man i was been freaking out this whole freaking day man Just praying to god hope, hoping he helps me man because this shit is not easy man it's not, it's not work. i mean i know, you, I know you, what, what gear are you shooting with what 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 gear are you shooting with oh i have a sony 6400 6300 okay gimbal or, or uh uh, Zion Crane 3. I just bought a freaking uh, drone. I just bought one. Um, I feel like that's going to help me a lot too. And that's Be careful with the drone it. stuff. What's up? Be careful with the drone stuff. Oh, why is that? You like F I don't know if you have your pilot's license or not and stuff like that, but like it's it's, it's getting trickier. It's it's going to start getting harder to fly drones around without having your, your license. Now, who's in charge of like stopping you with that? Like the police? Like or... FAA. So like right now, like there's technology, like 
here in Florida, there's a, a thing with like a lot of pilots that there's literally like a, a helicopter pilot group that they go after people that are flying drones illegally. What? Yeah, if, really? find, if somebody hires you to fly the drone and they just changed it around, but let's say I hired you to fly the drone and you flew with all your FAA, mm. I would get fined up to a thousand dollars. You can get fined up to a thousand dollars per flight. So God damn. And you know, it's it's FAA for this whole thing. It's a small department, but it's one of the situations like I saw somebody else's video that they were literally, they flew the drone in like a national park and the national park had a department of people that were literally just spent time on Google looking at people that were flying drones. Like they'll like type in Yosem Yosemite and then they'll look up the drones and then they could look up records to see if you had flight clearance on there. And then they're literally just mailing out fines and stuff like that. So wow. there is like, some breathing room for it and stuff like that. Like what I do now, if I need a, yeah. a pilot for a flight, I'll just hire somebody that has an FAA license and bring them on to the shoot for me. Okay. Um, and an FAA can be done online, right? Or so one, you have to get your 109. Is what it's hmm. called. And that's huh. like a whole other, the whole other series and stuff like that. But I think the biggest thing that you should work on, do you have lights? No, man. Hey, what was, yeah, I know you recommend, I'm, I saw I was watching a video of some lights, but I didn't, I didn't hear that you recommended the actual light. Uh, it's like, Volvi, Volvi Tech, where I'll recommend those for anyone starting. I think they're Volvi Tech. How do you spell that? Hold on here. Volvi. I think at one point you need to get like a little bit better lights, but I, I love these right here for how, uh, where is it? Yeah, these right here. Are they like uh, wireless? They're not, uh, there's there's like a remote control feature or something like that on these. No, I mean like but, you have to like plug it into an extension. So you can plug them into an extension. Well, what I do, I have uh, the V-mount batteries for them. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, so that's the yeah. way I'll go. Uh, so you said you V-mount? V-mount batteries. Let me see this show in the back here. So like this right here, that, mm. that little box. This little part right here, mm -hmm. you could buy one of these. And the batteries are expensive, but like honestly, I think worth they're worth it. it. It's one of these. I got these right here, 150 bucks, which I don't see the price. So you, for the whole kit, you spend, you, know, you probably can get the less powerful ones, but like the way I look at it, like for me, for $50 more, get, you know, a hundred or to get 95 more watts power out of them, to mm -hmm. me, it's worth it. Um, you could probably get away with just getting two of these, but I love being able to be a run and gun. So I have these, I have yeah. the Toby Techs, I have these V-mount batteries, then I have the Aperture, 120D. So this is another good option. Another one, but they are you know expensive. They just launched a new light called what is it called? Emerons or some shit like that. Yeah. Emerons 100. These are pretty good, but these are more for like if you're gonna do like some type of like studio shoot, I'd recommend one of these. I personally like all the last three commercials I've shot. I use those $300 light panels and wow. like, I don't like doing like doing this right here with like the dome and shit like that. I don't mm -hmm. got time for that. Like on a shoot, I want to get in, I want to get out for you to get a C stand, set up the light, get the dome, yeah. get more work. I don't have time for that. I want to be able to get in and get out. So for like the 600 bucks on the other ones, that's where I would go with for lighting. A lighting Lighting itself, it's one of those things that it's gonna dramatically improve um, the video quality. Like it's, it's, it's basically just two lights, right? Right in front and then one for the shadow, right? Something like Three. that. Um, you know, that's yeah. the thing. I spent time watching videos on lighting okay. that I realized how much uh, lighting had an effect on, on the videos. 
But it's okay. also like you getting out there and just playing around with them and start seeing what works for you. Sometimes I backlight stuff, sometimes I don't. And also realize depending working on different sets and, and you know, like when I watch television now and you start watching commercials, I like I pay attention to like how are they lighting these dark scenes? And I'll notice like if it's a really dark scene, they'll still use like a backlight so they can see the shadow on the side to show like little contrast. Like it's like the little things that you start paying attention to when you start watching films to see and think to yourself, there's actually a really good YouTuber. This is all he does is uh um, fuck, is it how is it this guy? I don't know who you consume on the internet too, but like Bro, I don't even, to be honest, I don't even watch. The only thing I really watch is just like camera shots. I don't really watch. Um, what do you say you watch? Just like, like, just camera angles and shots, because I feel like I do the same shit every day. Uh -huh. But when it comes to like marketing, I read books on that. I don't really like to watch too much videos, uh, but I should. Um, I don't really consume educational stuff as much as I should. Like, um, I really should be doing that. Where is this guy at? Because there's one guy that he's like, and it's Super literally good. all he'll just he'll just break down music videos and stuff like that um, hmm. i probably i think i know what you're talking about this guy have you ever done any music videos i did when i first got started out but i didn't realize that there's not enough money music videos for me. Dude, there, dude there, there's no money, and all those rappers are freaking psychopaths, man. Like, <laughs> they all treat you. Think I'm getting treated? I feel like I'm getting treated bad now, but back then it was worse, man. Freaking, I used to charge like 80 bucks. You know how many there a whole day? Yeah, just like that. <laughs> oh, man. I, I had fun though doing that, but I can't live it. <laughs> Yeah, like I like watching this stuff, like these, like these master classes that I do uh, mm -hmm. about like how they like different scenes and stuff like that. I really like those kind of videos. Um, this okay. this channel here is really good. Epic Light Media. Uh, I think they do a really good job on teaching stuff like that. Yeah, like I love the de deconstruction of like any type of stuff. It would just give you so much insight into uh, into lighting. Cause like lighting will, will, this guy's another good channel too, Danny. I'll send you this video when we're done. No, no problem, no problem. Um, yeah, but I, I love watching this kind of stuff just to, to learn more about lighting. Cause like I said, this is where, like that's when I realized like what was a big difference between what I was filming versus like what I was seeing on television. And it came down to like how you were lighting stuff. Okay. So. Okay. Cool, man. All right, brother. Yeah, um, dude, check in with me next month. Let me know where the progress is at. And then um, if you get any roadblocks and stuff like that, shoot me a DM and um, I'll try to help you. Um, I again. appreciate it, man. All right, bro. Get to the hustle. Hey, um, I'm going to send you some of like my more like personal videos um, just to you know, entertain your day and stuff. I just okay. I do like, videos for myself and stuff. But um, um, I'll send you that. Tell me what you think of that. Um, you don't there's not really more much critique you can give me other than like oh it's pretty funny like <laughs> i don't expect much dude right, thank you for sure brother um you should do more videos on the, the marketing the seo stuff you should do more you should move into that slowly when you I, have want, more time. I want to man it's just like it's it's a lot of work right now for me in between this like i haven't posted anything on youtube because i've been super active on a clubhouse and oh. it's like it's one of those things is allocating energy, right? I, if I try to do a little bit of everything, um, it's only gonna dilute everything else that I do. So like right now, my main focus is systemizing my business, uh, closing, a, closing and fulfilling the orders that I have, and then helping Chris Doe do whatever he needs on Clubhouse. So- Yeah, Clubhouse stuff. I never Clubhouse heard of. Like a, it's like a new app that it's like imagine like live podcasting i guess is like the best way to, to say so like 
Okay. There's like a bunch of like different rooms and stuff like that. And then you can like hop on into rooms. Like right now, this room is called online course and mastermind hacks. Honestly, some of these rooms kind of suck, but <laughs> you know, you can hop into a room and also this is like a really good retargeting channel. I mean, highly recommend you, you do both. Is it free? Stuff, so. It's free, but right now you have to like, you can join the app and uh, you, you get put in a wait list and then they'll let you in. Or if you have somebody that's con like connected with you, they'll be like, hey, so-and-so is trying to join the app. Like, do you want to let them in? Okay. Um, well, just send me more info when you can about that because I see you posting all the time and I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's, just, it's a new platform. And honestly, it's, it, it's helped a lot of growth within like my Instagram account and stuff like that. But... Honestly, like I've been feeling a lot, I've been feeling really overwhelmed with like the more people that are following me. Um, yeah. Cause it's hard, bro. Like, I don't know how, like when I look at these accounts, I have like 500,000 people, like we'll do a clubhouse and I'll have like 25 message requests of like people trying to engage and stuff. But it's the normal people that are like either reposting or sharing stuff and it gets overwhelming. And then also feel bad that I'm not engaging with everybody. So it's like, there's there's this whole other side of you know the instagram and stuff that like oh i want to be a big instagram or youtuber and then like i'll get into a situation like this i'm like i was like i honestly don't i don't even know if i want a big following like i think two weeks ago i deleted like 500 people from my instagram account because i was just trying to like clear out people that i'm just not active with and things like that but yeah, man it's a lot of work man you know it's uh -huh. it's a lot of work well, I appreciate you, you know, messaging me, man. Like, I would have never thought you'd message me, but um, I hope, I hope you figure that out, man, because the value you bring is, like, freaking priceless. So, appreciate that, man. Okay. I, might, you, uh, I might have you do a shooter review video for me uh, so I can post it on my website later on. I'd love to. All right, <laughs> well, I'll uh, check back in a month. All right. Thank you. All right, bro. Peace. Bye.